Hello y'all, it's Valerie here, and I'm back after a hiatus to do another Dollar Tree haul. I haven't been able to do any Dollar Tree hauls because this is the first time in a long time that my Dollar Tree has gotten anything new. Besides like the same old dryer sheets and that kind of stuff that I normally haul, but you get tired of seeing the same thing over and over. So this is the first time that they've gotten something in that I've bought in a long time that was new. At least, you know, not the same stuff that I always get, like, like I said, like the aforementioned stuff. Um, sorry, nose itch. So anyways, I have not made any videos in a while, and when I first started my channel, I wanted to be able to put out a video at least once a week. But like I said, my Dollar Tree hasn't been getting any new stuff in. That combined with the fact that I have bipolar disorder and social anxiety, I've been through a major depressive episode lately. So therefore, I found it hard to get out of bed to shop to be able to do any hauls. There were times whenever it was a struggle for me to get up and brush my teeth and to do the normal things that you would do to take care of yourself. Like it was something I had to prepare myself for mentally to be able to do. So, like I said, I do have social anxiety disorder, so whenever I put out these videos, not only is it a creative outlet, it gives me a way to socialize that I'm more comfortable with than, let's say, going to a park or going out to a club even. Excuse me, sorry. So, anyways, um, like I was saying, it's a way for me to socialize without having to socialize directly with people, which I know, how is that socializing? How does that help your social anxiety? Well, it does help because it can sometimes help me from slipping into a depression as bad whenever I have a creative outlet, whenever I do have people I can talk to, not necessarily in person, but like through the internet or through social media. So it does keep me from being so isolated. Now that I've got that out of the way, um, let me get into my Dollar Tree haul. The first thing that I got was this Calgon Lavender and Honey body wash and yes I have used some of it um it doesn't smell like real lavender it smells really good but it does not smell like real lavender it smells like artificial lavender the second thing I got was this Epsom salt and I got the all natural non-scented because it's actually for my plant because you can water your plants with a mixture of Epsom salt but they don't absorb the magnesium as well as they do is if you spray it down and they absorb it through their leaves because just like people they can absorb it through their leaves like people can absorb it through their skin so it's a better delivery method for the magnesium and they they get more of the magnesium if you do it through the leaves and not through the roots not all minerals can be absorbed through the leaves magnesium just happens to be one of them next thing i got is the still wool and that is a repurchase i get those whenever i'm out um self-explanatory you know what those are for I got these still brushes um, or wire brushes and that is for my wood-burning stove we have it outside because we have been remodeling and we're getting ready to put it back in so I'm going to give it a good scrub down and all that before we you know put it back in and start using it for the season sorry I'm looking around here I've got to get my stuff the next thing I got is this jar. Actually, my husband got it. It's for a craft of some sort. He's going to make something with it. I'm not what I'm not sure what yet, but that's his thing. He'll figure it out. Um, the next thing that I got were hold on, let me find them. Sorry, I'm getting everything kind of gathered here. Next thing I got were these markers. And, or highlighters and that's because when I journal I kind of just if I'm talking about my feelings for instance and then I get an idea for a YouTube video I'll write it down right then and there as I'm journaling mixed in amongst all the other stuff I journal about so what I want to be able to do is highlight it 
so that way whenever I'm going back and trying to figure out oh what's that idea I had the other day I don't have to read through this whole journal entry to find it I can just highlight it as I write it and then amongst all the other emotions and what happened in my day it's just easy to spot okay the next thing that I got were these baskets and I got these for um, my tank tops I'm going to roll them and stick them you know like I don't know what that hand motion was but you roll them and stick them in there kind of line them up and honestly I've got a few like that and I've already done a few and it's not the best way to keep them but it's better than using like the shower you know the shower hooks you know some people use the shower curtain hooks I tried it that way it's much better to roll them and stack them in these than it is to use those hooks but it's still not the way that I'm going to have it when all said and done because it really it could be better but for now it works and so I'll put those in my closet with the rest of them okay and the last thing I got were these wet and wild Fergie edition lip products this is what they all came in these packages like that this is the first time my Dollar Tree has gotten these in it's not that they had them in and they restocked Whenever all the Fergie stuff was coming through my store, they did not get these in. And I think it's because we have such a little town that, you know, they don't get quite as much stuff coming through. They don't get the full line of stuff coming through. And sometimes they have to wait until a restock before they get more in. But the first two things are these lip glosses. This one right here is in Burrowing Shade. And this one right here is in... Hmm, epic. So, let's see what this is. They're very similar colors. One's a little red, more pink, and one's a little darker, but they're very similar. And on top, one on top is throwing shade, and the one below that is epic. And the next thing I got is these. And I've got, these are the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. And I've got Timeless Chick, DJ Doll, and I'm going to swatch these here in a minute. Plum, Plum Genou, I guess that's like Ingenue, but only Plum. Um, Pinky Candy. And the standout. So let me go ahead and swatch these real quick. Hold on with, be patient with me. I'm trying to get them swatched. Sorry. Okay. Sorry that took so long. I might cut some of that out. I don't know. I might leave it in. I might not edit it out. Oh, God. Hair on my lips. Sorry. You can tell I haven't been in front of the camera in a while. But let's go from top to bottom. The top one is Timeless Chick. The next one is Plum Genou. The third one is Pinky Candy. The fourth one is DJ Doll. And the last one is the standout. Okay, um, sorry, I'm flustered, uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, that was all for my haul. If you've watched it, thank you. I very, very much appreciate your views. Um, if you have any bipolar depression stories, I'd love to hear them in the comments. And if you happen to watch my video and like it, please subscribe. I will talk to you later, and thanks for watching.